So here we are in Cinema 4D. To open up the Expressor Editor, we need to create an Expressor tag. So I first of all create a null object. Call this one Expressor. Right click Cinema 4D tags, Expressor. Um, when we create the tag, the Expressor Editor will open up. Um, if you close it again, to open it again, just double click on the tag. So let me just dock the editor somewhere, maybe here. So we see our perspective view, the Expresso editor, um, object manager and attributes manager. And let's take a look at the Expresso editor. First thing you will notice is the X manager. The X manager shows us all nodes that are currently used in our setup. So our setup is empty for now, so we don't see any nodes here. Second thing is the X pool. The X pool is the library of all um, Expresso nodes that we have here in Expresso. And we have two categories. One is uh, the system operators, which we will use later, and the system presets. Those are just program presets by Maxon. Um, we will take a look at them later. So let's open up system operators. Um, you see we have different categories here. Expresso, hair, motion graphics, dynamics and thing particles. Um, most, of, most of our um, nodes will be in Expresso. And those are just specific nodes for all these different categories. So we have some special nodes for the dynamics. We have some special nodes for MoGraph some special notes for hair and of course thinking particles but we first of all we should open up Expresso. We have some subcategories general, adapter, bool, calculate, script, logic, iterator. Um, let's first of all take a look in general maybe and here we have all our notes. All these nodes, we can open up more and more and more. All these nodes are so-called system operators. So they they perform operations, they do something. So let's take one node, maybe a point node. You can just grab them, and drag them in the editor over here. Let's take a second one, maybe a random over here. To navigate in the Expresso editor you hold down the 1 key and left mouse button to pen and the 2 key and left mouse button to zoom. So actually those are the same shortcuts that you use in your um, viewport. Zoom and pen. You can also use them here. It might happen that your uh, note will look like this or like this. So yeah, it happens that a node is too small to read everything or that it's way too big. And there are two options to um, to solve this problem. Option one is right click on the title and click on optimize. Then it will um, resize uh, to an optimized size that you can read everything. But the faster solution is um, on a Windows computer, hold down control on a Mac command and double click on the note title, then it will do the same. It's just faster and you don't need to right click and go through this menu. So you can resize them. As I said, we have our operator nodes here. So those are all like little functions, like uh, little lines of code that do something. But you can do more in Expresso. Let me just delete those two nodes. You can also create objects and just take the object and drag it in here. Then we have a node called cube. And this node cube is actually this object cube. If I click on the object, I see here my different uh, attributes in the attributes manager. And all those attributes I can access also with Expresso. So let's check that out. On our node, we have also always a blue side and a red side. The blue side are the, is uh, the input of the node and the red side is the output. So you could say if we take an operator, something like, I don't know, maybe, um, let's take uh, calculate math. So this is easy. We have two inputs and one output. 
which means two numbers come in, the operation takes place, so it's an addition, so both numbers will be added, and the output is the result. So we have our cube, and let's check the ports out. So to create a port, you just click on the um, blue or on the red uh, square, depends on what you want to create, an input or an output port. I want to create an input port, right click, and I see, okay, basic properties. If I click here on the cube, I also, nah, I also see basic properties. So all those properties I'll also find here under basic properties. Coordinates, coordinates, object properties, object properties. So all those attributes I will find here as an input port or the same as an output port. Because I can tell the cube to, let's say I want to do something with the X size of the cube. So I can tell the cube to have a specific X size, then I would go, uh, I would feed some data into the input port, or I can read out what size the cube has in, X, uh, in the X dimension. So then I would uh, go for the output port. Um, you have also the possibility to um, drag, let's say deformers in here, or a material. You can actually drop everything in here, or a light. And the basic rule is everything you, you'll you find in the attributes manager, when you click on the object, you will also find an expressor and you can do stuff with it. So that makes that makes um, expressor super flexible and you can combine all the functions of Cinema 4D. You can also create a cloner, put it in here, or an effector, put it in here and use all the data that is accessible through the attributes manager. If you click them, let's take a look at the light for example. You'll see the general settings like the light intensity. You can use it as an input or as an output port. Um, one very important feature is uh, the spyglass over here because with uh, if you click it you have uh, like a search function. This is pretty interesting when you know some of the nodes and you don't want to click through this whole tree here. So if you want for example a result node you just type in the first letters and then you will see the, the node here and you can drag it in there. So pretty easy and that makes your work uh, really fast and effective. If we now take a look back again at the X manager, you will see that all our nodes that we created are also listed here. And yeah, we come to that later, what this is good for. It's actually just to, to get a good overview and you can combine nodes and groups. This is what we call an X group. To do this, we can let's say we want these four nodes. They don't do anything right now, but I just want to show you how it works. You can select them all right click and say convert to X group and then we have a second X group in here it's good just to to organize stuff like this you can you can um, rename it somehow group 2 maybe and it's called group 2 give it a different color and especially when you have like complex character rigs or um, yeah almost every complex setup um, is, is much better readable when you organize it in X groups. So in this lesson you learned how you can create nodes and how you can drag stuff in here and what is an input and what is an output port and in the next lesson we will take a look at the different data types that we have in Expresso and how we find out uh, which data type is good for what. So I'll see you in the next lesson.